two Aussie stars we've grown up with. You know one from Neighbours and the other from a series of unfortunate events. Uh, dinner is served. Putnesca. What did you call me? Now they're reuniting for the Amazon Prime limited series Class of 07. Please welcome Caitlin Stacey and Emily Browning. Caitlin, Emily, good morning. Thank you so much for good coming morning. in. Wow, what an intro. You pre-recorded it and everything. <laughs> this is, <it>. this <laughs> is the big time. leagues now, wow, guys. I feel so famous. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, you are. You guys are living, uh, you know, grew up in Melbourne and now in LA. Incredible. Yeah. Um, but so this new series you came back to, you filmed in Sydney, so mm. back home to film. Can you tell us what is it all about? I feel like the giveaway is in the title. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, somewhat. Yeah. It's about a high school reunion um, at a Catholic girls' school and when they're all sort of drunk and in the middle of their reunion the apocalypse hits and they have to figure out what to do about that essentially yeah. <laughs> stuck on top of a mountain together before yeah. you came in we were talking about high school reunions i never got invited to mine that i'm aware of oh. bell you didn't go to yours i didn't go but it was midweek it's very frustrating i haven't had mine yet um Caitlin, oh, he's you... so young <laughs> yeah. yeah no it's this he's year. just graduated yeah <laughs> Caitlin, did you go to your high school reunion? No, I think I overheard you saying they don't finish year nine, they don't invite is it you. Right. Which is sort of my story. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't make it in year 12? I didn't make it, no. Yeah. I, I, uh, I tapped out. Yeah, yeah me, you me too. I tapped on. out. I was like, that enough. Hey, look, it's, it's gone well for you. Oh, <laughs> Emily, yourself? I, did, I didn't go to my high school reunion, no. It's yeah. like a real I choice, isn't I it? I did. I don't know. I quite liked a lot of people I went to high school with. I'm still friends with a bunch of people I went to high school with. So. And you, like, prioritised high school too. You went back and took yeah, it seriously. Yeah, I did take it I thought I was going to go to uni and then as soon as I graduated high school, I was like, actually, you know what's more fun than uni is not studying and just <laughs> making movies. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. <laughs> um, and, and, like, t- and so sort of 2007, do you, do you remember, like, is that a fond time in your head? Yeah. Do you remember what you were like we in 2007? We met in 2007. We did meet in 2007. Oh, really? Where'd you meet? Sigur Ross concert. Yeah. Oh, right. Very hip. Yeah, yeah very my cool. My boyfriend at the time, his mum worked on Neighbours and so we just, like, had a little... Yeah, Emily went with her boyfriend. I went with her boyfriend's mum. Oh, cool. yeah. Annie, if you're listening, the coolest Hi. chick in the whole world. Oh, sorry. Remember, we did say it was live. Yeah, no, we said there was one rule. We said, we said... I'm you. so sorry. I, that surprised me because you said, is this live? And we said, yeah. And you said, so don't swear. And we yeah, said, like, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the only thing you got to worry about. But that's okay. Some yeah, of your kids on the way to school right now like, mum, did you hear that? We're just listening to Flowrider. So maybe, yeah, maybe it's all on theme this morning. So. Uh, no. That's okay. right. Hey, live radio, baby. Hey, we'll, we'll move on. Uh, so, obviously, because of the Amazon Prime original yeah. class of 07, we wanted mm. to play a little game this morning. Let's see how well you know the 07 era. Yeah. Just oh, a little boy. trip down memory lane. Okay. Caitlin Stacey, Emily Browning, do you know what the top song in 2007 was? It's multiple choice. Okay. So, right. uh, option one, Plain White Tees, Hey There, Delilah. Great Remember song. One. Oh. So romantic. Mm. Beyonce, <laughs> Irreplaceable, okay. or Gwen Stefani's Sweet Escape. What is Sweet Escape? I don't know. If sweet I get escape. escape. I feel oh. like it's that. But I maybe feel it's like just because it's my favourite. But, mm. I, but Plain White Tees was pretty, was pretty hot. Can you rule out Queen Bee? Yeah, I that reckon song, so. Yes, I think you can. Okay. All right. Are we wrong? Why don't what we do we'll, we'll go alternating? I'll, I'll go I'll go plain white tees. All right, I'm gonna go Gwen Stefani. Both okay. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say before one of you says the F bomb, I should we should warn you early. Uh, you're both wrong. It was irreplaceable. Wow, that's Never so crazy. roll out Beyonce. Incredible. I okay. mean, by the way, Beyonce is the yeah. queen of all yeah. time. I just yeah. didn't know that, that song, song was yeah. number one. There you go. All right. Well, next question. In 2007, <laughs> who had the most members for the social media sites? Was mm. it A, MySpace, B, Facebook, or C, Bebo? What, what the hell is Bebo? Bebo? Did you know you use Bebo? Bebo? Bebo was huge. You were younger yeah. than us. How do you even know what it was? That's crazy. Maybe. Bebo, yeah, that was a big one for me anyway. Yeah, it was just like a blog. When you were two It was like on CBeebies <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. I was big on Bebo when I was in the womb. All right, well, you're right. okay. Do you okay. want to rule out that one then? Well, I feel was like it's still MySpace. I then? was heavy on MySpace. I was big on MySpace. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook, I didn't get until 2008, I reckon. So mm-hmm. I reckon MySpace. It was MySpace. Well done. MySpace was the one. A return to form. Only one last question. All right. Who was the sexiest man alive in oh 2007? God. Was it Hugh Jackman, Matt Damon, or Johnny Depp? 
Ugh. Oh, oh, I look, oh, oh, I or in your book, <laughs> none, none of those. <laughs> yeah. I looked through a list of these the other day. Don't ask me why. Yeah. I still don't. Inspiration. Oh, that's that dance music. Yeah. <laughs> I think 2007. What movies came out then? Oh, I, I have like, no idea. Not Johnny Depp. I think. Oh, wait. Pirates of the Caribbean was right before that. Mm-hmm. Johnny Depp was already looking pretty rough at that point, wasn't <laughs> he? Yeah, but Captain Jack Sparrow kind of really I'm going to say Matt Damon. I'll go, I'll go, um, I'll go Johnny Depp. And we're rolling out Hugh Jackman, I mean Wolverine? Yeah, wow. Oh. Was that when that came out? Oh, all right. Okay, fine, it's Hugh Jackman. <laughs> don't let me, don't let me, don't <laughs> no, let me no, change no, 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 the witness. <laughs> all right, lock in one. What are we locking in? I'm go, saying Hugh Jackman now. I'll go Johnny. Okay, oh. that was great. <laughs> well done. <laughs> 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 you screwed me up. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Born Ultimatum. It's Jason Bourne himself, oh. Matt Damon. Yeah. yeah. I've never yeah. seen those. He doesn't, wow. I don't think he was the sexiest man alive in that year. Absolutely but. not. But I mean, I, I looked Who at do you list. think was the sexiest man alive that year? David Beckham. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Well, look, whether you love the era or you didn't, definitely check out Class of 07. It is out this Friday on Amazon Prime. Caitlin and Emily, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Sorry for the swear. Yes, sorry for swearing.